roomy cabin? Check. Advanced safety features? Check. Impressive tech? Check. Excellent fuel economy? Check. The Hyundai Elantra is all of the above. Not to mention striking, visually, or as some would like to put it, interesting to look at with its standout futuristic design choices over the years. Hyundai Elantra, a Southern Korean production, was first manufactured in 1990. The first generation of the Elantra featured a 1.5 liter or 1.8 liter engine by Mitsubishi. It came with a four speed or five speed automatic gearbox, and then the next generation launched two years after. These came with wider engine options, from 1.5 all the way up to 2.0 liters. Elantra grew even more with the launch of its third generation, including the liftback version. The engines got improved and it featured two camshafts. The fourth generation came in with a bang in 2006 with fuel efficient gamma engines. Also it entered into the every car is starting to look like a catfish left out in the sun too long phase, which was unfortunate, but we'll get back to the looks. The fifth gen launched in 2010 and Hyundai Elantra took a giant leap in terms of technology as well as its design. With larger vehicle dimensions, an extended wheelbase, and outstanding transmission systems, it rose to new heights and became world-renowned. Stepping back and going with the conventional style, Elantra launched the sixth generation in 2015. However, it came with a bold and sporty appearance with an even more powerful engine, which honestly began to confuse its customer base. But just like every high school student that experimented with chain wallets and hair dye too early on in their life, Elantra learned faster than most. And eventually people started to realize what Elantra was up to. And with the seventh generation looking like it does, it's no surprise that almost 14 million units of Elantra have been sold to date. Indeed, a great evolution. Let's get to the lineup. Elantra keeps it simple. You start off with the base SE at 20,500. And next up, you get the SEL at 21,750. Then you get everything you could ever want at a price for 26,350 with a limited trim. And then lastly, you got two more models. N-Line, which is the sportier version, makes its market just over 27K. And then you also have a hybrid starting at 23,750. Let's go back to that N-Line for a second. If think of it as like a BMW M series. You have an M Sport package on a 3 Series, but that doesn't necessarily make it an M. The same goes for an N-Line and an actual N when it comes to Hyundai Elantra. This is the Hyundai Elantra N. Apart from its catchy visual appeal, the design enhances the aerodynamic efficiency, cutting down the drag due to its smooth edges and sleek shape. With a 276 horsepower 2.0 liter turbocharged GDI four-cylinder engine yielding 25 MPGs for $32,000, I mean, yeah, that sounds fine. The Elantra N also has a wider wheelbase and improved dual compound bush performance. The integrated drive system ensures smooth gear changes. It has widened brake discs. It has an air guide that helps you to keep the brakes cool and clean with cooling holes helping to dissipate heat. You can set the exhaust sound through an equalizer. It has an eight speed automated transmission, an inline four configuration and front wheel drive, sports seats, ground packages. Let's be honest, this vehicle is no less than a concept car which came to reality. Somebody won a bet here over at Hyundai, and that bet probably had BMW on the other side of it. With features like a 10 and a quarter inch high resolution touchscreen navigation, dual climate control, Bose sound system, 17 inch alloy wheels, ambient lighting, and solar glass, you won't feel shorted in the Elantra, especially in the eye catching exterior department. Elantra is fun, Elantra is comfortable. Elantra is affordable and safe and fast and cozy and crazy and cute and gorgeous. Elantra is everything. <laughs>